Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to find a z-score given the area using a free online graphing calculator called ClassCalc. Um, the calculator can be found at classcalc.com and like I said it is totally free. You can also download it on to your phone. Alright, so if you are trying to find the z-score you do need to know the area to the left. So if you're not given the area to the left, you do need to find that. In the first one, we are given the area to the left. And since it's less than 50% is shaded, we know that our z-score should be negative. So let me grab the calculator. And what you're going to do is you're going to start by clicking on the little arrows at the bottom and go to stat and we're gonna to go to the distributions. I'm gonna choose the normal distribution and since I'm dealing with the standard normal, the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. And then I need to go outside of the parentheses, and again, I'm gonna go back to the same place that I was. And this time I'm going to hit stat and distributions and I'm gonna select the inverse CDF. So it will actually find the area that you are looking for. Your area does have to be to the left and so since this one is the area to the left, I can just type in the point 1562 as it is and it gives you your z-score right here. Okay, typically we round to two decimal places. Um, you can sometimes round to three, but by default, the z-score we round to two decimal places. So I'm just going to write that down, that my z-score that corresponds to an area to the left of 0.1562 is negative 1.01. All right, moving into the next one. For this one, we have to first find the area to the left. So we would do one minus the area to the right. And I can actually just type it in as this value, one minus 0.1762. And so I would just come in here and I'm going to delete what I have and just do one minus 0.1762. I didn't get rid of the 62 because I knew it was going to be there again. And I can see that my z-score is positive 0.93. So this time it is a positive z-score because this is less than 50% and it's shaded to the right. Okay, if I would have plugged in 0.1762, it would have given me the opposite z-score. So I would have got z equals negative 0.93. You just need to remember that any time that you have an area that's less than 50% and it's to the right, the z-score does have to be positive. So I could have plugged this area in and reported the opposite z-score. All right, and then the last one that we have is what do we do when we have the area between? Whenever we're dealing with the area is in between, uh, you do wanna make sure that you have the same z-score, just opposite signs, so it's always going to be centered. And so what we're trying to do is we wanna find this area to the left of the negative z-score. And to do that, it's gonna be one half of one minus the area between Okay, so I would just plug in one half times one minus the 0.86. And we do always convert our percentages to a decimal to work with them. Um, you could do this mathematically by yourself if you want to, but you don't have to. So what I could do is I could come in here and I can either type in one half or I can just do 0.5. I find that easier. And then I would put my parentheses one minus 0.86. And we can see that it's negative 1.4757. Since this five rounds up to a six, I'm gonna go ahead and round just to two decimal places. If it would have stayed at five, then I would have reported three decimal places just because it's in the middle. Um, if it's closer to the end, like on the last one, it ended with nine nine. So it was really close to the actual z-score. So that's really good to use two decimal places, but sometimes it's better to use three decimal places um, if you have to do more math with it. But like I said, by default, z-scores round to two decimal places. So with this, we would round it to negative 1.48. And then we would also report our second z-score, which is positive 1.48. 
Um, what you could have done if you wanted to, to find this one here, is we know that it's symmetric and we know that from here to the zero, we have 0 0.50 or 50% of our area. Since it's symmetric, half of my 86 would have to be from here to here. So if I take half of 86, that would be 43. And so if I add those together, I really have 0.97 to the left of this. Sorry, I don't know where the seven came from. My brain just went, that's not right. It's because this is 7% down here. And so my brain just filled that in. Um, so this would be 0.93. And so I could also plug that into my calculator if I didn't want to do that. Um, so if I plugged in the 0.93, notice that gives me the positive 1.48. So you could have done that to find the positive 1.48. Like I said, you can always do the math in your head or um, if it's like a decimal place that goes to four decimal places, it might be easier just to plug it into your calculator. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.